it was in the opposite corner from me. And I hadn't seen one in years. It was a phone booth. And considering that they didn't really exist anymore, it was still an old one. I crossed over to it and couldn't resist opening and closing its folding door. It was built right into the wall, not with a rusting aluminum frame, but out of the same color oak as the front doors. The glass panels were clean and tinted a grayish green to give the collar some sense of privacy. I pulled the door back again and stepped inside. There was a small, round stool bolted into the side of the booth so you could sit while you talked. And I turned expectantly, to look for the phone itself. Imagining a long metal box, a rotary dial, and a coin slot beside the receiver. But the phone had been taken out, I supposed because of lack of use. They'd hung a small painting in its place of, naturally, a telephone. I chuckled at it and sat on the stool. That they'd taken out the phone, but not the booth, that they'd left it as a place to sit. A handsome piece of history to admire. It reminded me of another phone booth I'd stood in once. I'd been in a city square, in a little village, in Italy, with a handful of lira wanting to phone home and hear a familiar voice. I'd lifted the receiver from the cradle, and across the screen flashed the words, Attendere, prego. and I translated in my head. Pay attention, please. This polite reminder to be where I was, to attend to the moment, 